What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I'm super excited to get into things today because there's a couple technical changes that I wanna make and I wanna show you guys how I go about making some actual changes in my technique. On a cold day, there's nothing worse than an ice cold shot put feeling like it's tearing up your neck. So for the low price of however much a little space heater like this costs, you can warm up your shot put and have a nice warm neck. All right, so if you watched my last video on analyzing my technique, I really started to notice how awful my hand position was while I'm throwing shot put. And Martin's talked about it before and we've tried to change it, but I couldn't figure out where to hold it in my neck and then it was starting to hurt my wrist and a bunch of excuses. But looking at that video footage, I just it's unexcusable to have it be in that bad of a position because it looks like I can't push from here. It needs to be lower somehow on my neck. All right, so my objective is this. On the finish, I need to get to a position that it's in line enough with my shoulder that I can get a nice straight push. And as it is, I put it up too high on my neck and I can't get that push. So I'm just gonna mess around, try to feel it. So in the beginning stages of making a technical change, it's important to not worry about the distance. In order to build up your technique, you need to break it down first. And when you break down your technique, sometimes you won't be hitting the same distances as you were before. And some cues are less significant than others and take less time to break down. So sometimes you may see instant fixes in practice but it also may take thousands of throws to be able to get it ingrained in your muscle memory. So when you're starting, just break it down, make it simple, and start to exaggerate the positions that you're trying to hit because exaggerating during drills will help you hold positions better when you get to the full throw because naturally some of the positions will break down a little bit. So exaggerate them early with drills. Don't worry about the distance and you'll be on the right track to making a good technical change. All right, so working on the hand position is the first one that I wanna to get today. The second one is maintaining more level shoulders throughout the throw. I've got a habit of going down to the middle with this right arm and then it kind of stays down and sets up a weird orbit. So more level shoulders and I'm going to start by doing that with half turns and I'm going to do a few drills without the shot put to feel it. The third one is a more active right foot from the back to the middle but while doing half turns I want to also think about that. So level shoulders, more active right foot keep the shot in a good spot to get a good push. So here you can see the importance of doing drills. By starting off with these without the shot put, it allows me to do multiple of them in a row and really start to see the habits that I'm gonna have throughout the practice. So as you can see here, a couple times I try to correct my position because I feel my core bending. So I keep telling myself vertical posture, keep the shoulders level and rotate around. So these drills help you see habits that you're gonna start to have once you get to the full throw or once you move on to actually throwing. So you can start to make corrections without the impact on your body when you have the implement in your hand. Nice and easy to start. Just feel positions. All right, I'm going to go on to a walk through South African, just stepping into the middle and trying to feel a bit more momentum going into it. Thinking about the same thing hand position, level shoulders, get my right foot down. I'm gonna go into easy full throws, just try to tie everything together, making sure that I'm getting long over my right side, level shoulders, active right foot, good shot position. Do it all. Easy. Okay, Jordan. Feels so much better. This can be so good. All right, I'm gonna try to break down the cues to just like three of them. First one's getting my hand set right, and then I don't need to think about that throughout the rest of the throw. The second one's gonna be level shoulders going to the middle, and then try to get a more active right foot to get that down to the toe board. Feels so much better just having it in a good spot to actually like push it straight. Level shoulders, quick right, just feel that push. I just gotta get comfortable with it in my neck. It still feels like a little bit random every time because it's been you know, 10 throws. Right now it's feeling like if I can start with my elbow down and kind of hold the shot and support it until I start moving, then it gets easier to bring that elbow up. But 
if I start by trying to hold it up, it just is kind of hurting. So, uh, yeah, start with it down, support it so I can wind up and get it to a better position. And then from there, it feels like such a nice push. Active right foot down to the toe board, level shoulders, straight foot. All right, I'm just gonna take a couple more shot put throws before I move on to discus. I don't wanna wear out my wrist on day one trying to work on something new with hand position. Feels like I'm pulling off a bit and my shoulders probably aren't level. But my big thing that I really wanted to feel today was that hand and that's feeling a lot better. So I can do another one, try to feel it, try to keep those level shoulders. So I figured while I'm discovering my shot put hand position, I might as well talk about my discus hand position because this was also something that took me like 10 years to figure out how to do and I wish I had someone explain it right away. So because the disc is machined to be balanced, the center of mass runs right down the middle through the screw. So when setting up your hand position, you want your hand to be around the center of mass or slightly behind it and this allows for easier rotation out of your hand on the finish. For a long time I had my hand too far across the center of mass and it made it really difficult to get the disc to come out of my hand smooth and flat. Long over my right side, disc is with me, all level position. Thinking level shoulders on that one throughout the whole throw, and it helps. Ooh. You did great for the right arm. It's a little too much. Okay. So, man, if you went up, that was, that was powerful. Throw. There you go. Level shoulders, vertical posture in the middle. Just rushing it, gotta keep it nice, slow, patient over my right of the back and time up the throw instead of trying to go fast or something. So seeing first movement, the hips kind of dropping back. So then I'm tracking across the ring because to get out of my hips being down, I need to get extra far across. So keep working long and I want to try to drive probably right sector line, see if I can get more in the middle so I can send everything right down the throwing direction. Went back to thinking about that tetherball cue and working around my side. If you haven't seen the tetherball video, that's a good one for what a good mental image is of setting up a vertical post over your right side. Set it up.
All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Things are feeling awesome technically. Really happy with that change in the shot put and what I'm feeling. Big thing for me is, again, starting with the, the hand down, and as I wind up, I can start to pick up that elbow, and then it doesn't feel like it's hurting my like jaw or neck to push it into it. As far as the shoulder position and getting that right foot down, those are things that I'm gonna need to continue to work on. But when making technical changes, it's a lot easier to just focus on one thing and really make that the main focus for the day. Don't worry about anything else. And today that was the hand. I tried to incorporate a bit of the other stuff because I wanna be working on good positions always. But if I'm missing them, I'm not concerned about it. I just want to pick one thing, focus on that, and make changes. Just keep in mind guys, it can take thousands of throws to start to lock things into your muscle memory and make them a habit so you don't need to think about them any longer but at least over hundreds of throws, it's not gonna to need to be as big of a focus. So get out, throw a bunch, and the more that you focus on good positions and picking one or two things to make a change on, then over the course of a few months, you'll have it ingrained in your muscle memory and can start to work on other positions. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.